So we are now in the month of July, and I think everybody is sitting by their phones, checking Nintendo's Twitter feed, and continuing to refresh, hoping to see something from the company related to a Nintendo Direct announcement or something of that matter. And it's kind of upsetting that we still have no clue what's coming for Nintendo in 2020, as all these other companies are preparing for big presentations coming up, including Microsoft with Xbox, we really have no clue what Nintendo's up to, and as we approach August and towards the fall and the winter, we still have no clue what's to come and what's the big holiday game of the year. Now, of course, we still have plenty of time, we're just in July, and we just started summer, so maybe we'll get a direct this month, and maybe this month could be it. There's lots of evidence backing up this claim, as we have lots of rumors and leaks coming out from actually some reliable sources, so we might finally have a good idea as to when we could get our news from Nintendo. Now today's video is not really focusing on what we're going to get game-wise, but specifically when we're going to get some information. And one thing that I've been saying for a while is that with the inclusion of Paper Mario the Origami King dropping the 17th of July, we have to have some type of news of an upcoming game before this releases. Because I've said before, Nintendo has never had an empty slot going into the future that just doesn't look good for them. There's always got to be something coming out in order to keep fans hype, and we have Paper Mario right now. And Paper Mario only. So I kept saying that they had to reveal some type of game before Paper Mario drops in order to keep the hype going after its release. So let's look at the criteria right now because at the time of this recording it is July 8th Wednesday and it is already past the benchmark for Nintendo Directs to be announced. They're normally announced on Tuesday or Wednesday mornings around 9 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we've already kind of missed the mark. And it's kind of sad because this week is already done then with no Nintendo Direct and then Paper Mario The Origami King drops literally next week. Could they still have a Nintendo Direct the week of a game dropping? Yes, they've done it before actually with E3. They had an E3 presentation with ARMS coming out that following Friday, so it's very possible. It's just something Nintendo very rarely does and I wouldn't really expect it. But that's what they have left, and if they do go out next week with no type of Nintendo Direct, we have the first time I can remember with no future game in sight, meaning no type of game to look forward to, which would be literally mind-blowing to me. I mean, even waiting for the Nintendo Switch to come out, that weird gap between the Wii U and the Switch, we still knew the Switch was coming. We don't know what's coming. I mean, we even knew Breath of the Wild was still in development and was coming. At least that was something to look forward to. We have nothing to look forward to after Paper Mario. Now, there still is that weird possibility of a mini direct or a game announcement. I'm leaning towards a game announcement. A mini direct is normally when you have some stuff coming out recently and you just want to recap everything. We don't have anything to recap. We need all new stuff, so I really doubt a mini direct will come out. Uh, but a game announcement could be something Nintendo does to still push back this Nintendo Direct. And if a game announcement does come out, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't because that means the Direct is still uh, not coming soon because that game would just been uh, thrown into the Direct. Look at Paper Mario's announcement. That was already like a month and a half ago, two months ago, and you can see why. There was still no Nintendo Direct in sight, so they got that game out and it's about to release still with no Nintendo Direct in sight. So I'm hoping... There's no game announcement this week because it's going to pretty much confirm no presentation from Nintendo. But thankfully, this month we do have leakers. And I know a lot of people are saying, uh, these leakers don't know anything, and that's probably true. But still, we didn't even have leaks in June about any Nintendo Direct. In fact, we had leaks telling us that there were not going to be Nintendo Directs in June. And look what happened. So, I mean, leaks at least can give us a kind of generalization as to when things will happen. And lately, they've actually been on track, uh, at least the main leakers at that. And in fact, we actually knew the release date of the Mini Direct thanks to Helios on Twitter, and he also gave us the exact date of the Animal Crossing presentation and told us when that was going to happen. He said Animal Crossing was going to have its own direct, and he said we were going to have a mini direct, and he gave us those dates, and he was correct. He is now coming back out and telling us that there is, in fact, going to be a Nintendo Direct in July. He commented on someone's post stating all the different presentations happening in July and August, and then he commented saying, you forgot Nintendo Direct in July with his smiley face. So, clearly he has some type of inside source on a Nintendo Direct in July, so obviously this is some seriously exciting news. Now we also have other credible leakers telling us that we are going to have a Nintendo Direct in July and some other information regarding games, but that will be saved for another video. 
If you guys enjoy this, I will give you that one soon, talking about all the games that have been confirmed, or at least leakly confirmed, to come this year. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Hit that like button, it only takes a couple of seconds, but it helps out so much for growing the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and like always, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.